And every day I sit and watch the sky I sleep here in the sun and rain And do not question why Assalamu alaikum My name is Sakina And my name is Khadija And today we're going to show you how to make apple crumble Apple crumble or apple crisp is a perfect dessert to enjoy with your family on an evening, especially on a fall evening, because it's basically apples and crumble. And it tastes amazing with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream. And today we're gonna show you how to make it. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off by making the filling. So for the filling, we're gonna need six apples, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. We're gonna start off by peeling all six of our apples. So now that we've peeled all our apples, we're going to pe we're going to core and top them. So we're going to start by cutting our apple in half. And then in half again. So if you have a core, whatever it's called, um, it will be much easier for you to core your apples first and then chop them. But if you don't, you can always just do it by hand. So just out the cores and then we're going to cut each piece in half and then we're going to cut our slices. So these slices can't be too thick because if they're thick, they're not going to become soft enough um, when, after you bake them. So they should be um, just around the side, not too thick, not too thin. Now that we have all our, our apples sliced, we're going to add our two tablespoons of sugar, our teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. And we're just going to mix all this together until it's fully combined. Make sure you get an even coating of everything on each of the apple slices so that it tastes really good. Now that this is all mixed, we're going to add it into our pan and we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven. 
And next, we're going to mix our crumble. So we're going to add 3 4 cup of oats, 3 4 cups of all-purpose flour, and 1 cup of brown sugar. And we're going to mix all of these until it's fully combined. mixture is nicely combined, we're going to add in half a cup of butter, nicely chopped into cubes. And um, this butter should be around room temperature so that it, it mixes nicely into the mixture. So we're going to go ahead and add in our butter a little at a time. And we're basically just going to thing. And, and it's much easier if you do this with your hands. So um, once you get all the butter in, then if you just use your hands, it's gonna be a lot easier. So we'll just add in the rest. And from here on, I will just um, mix it in with my hands. So your hands will get a bit dirty, but that's okay. So just mix it all, mix the, all of this, mixture into the butter so that it becomes into a crumble which is what you're going to put on top of your apples This is what your mixture should look like in the end. So this should be the consistency. Now we're going to add this on top of our apples. Just sort of sprinkle it over and try not to show any apples. You can go in with your hands if you'd like. So now that all my apples are sort of covered, I'm going to add, put this in the oven um, at 350 and I'm going to leave it in there for around 40 minutes until the top is kind of browned and the apples sort of start bubbling. While our apple crumble is baking, we're going to give you five tips for the best apple crumble. Number one. Number one, you need to have when you're um in your in, when you're making the crumble for your apple crisps, make sure you have enough butter. So don't put too little because dry and flaky crumble will not taste good. Have enough butter in your crumble so that it will taste kind of like. It will, it will, it will look kind of like cookie dough, you know, like not too firm, but also not too dusty and dry. 
Number two, use good crispy apples. Like if you have the best, some of the best apples for apple crumble or apple crisp are like golden D delicious or granny smith apples and make sure they're like nice and fresh you know if if they've been sitting on your counter for weeks it probably won't be the best to put inside your apple crisp and number three don't over sweeten or over add things into the apple mixture have just enough sugar lemon juice and cinnamon and all and of course if you need to make adjustments you always can like if you feel like there's not enough cinnamon and it's too sweet maybe add a little bit more cinnamon but Make sure there's a balance because you don't want any of the flavors to be too overpowering. Number four, use rolled oats. Like oats that are, um, like for example, if you use steel oats, it might be a bit too hard and crunchy. So make sure you have the right oats. Steel, um, rolled oats taste the best in on an apple crumble. And number five, the top best tip for your apple crumble is to mix your crumble carefully and with care yeah don't over mix it and over pack it like you know you don't want to make it into balls and just drop it on top of your apples you want to make it nice and evenly um evenly sprinkled right you don't want it to be too clumpy or um you know too in one area or you know not much in the other area so make sure you keep an eye out on that and now we're gonna go check on our crumble we'll be back with you in a bit All right, so now I'm gonna go and check on our apple crisp. It's been about 40 to 50 minutes and looks pretty sure it's done. All right. So this is how it should look when it's done. It should be nice and brown and nice and caramelized on the edges. And we're gonna let this cool for five to 10 minutes, and in the meantime, you can get out your ice cream, get out your plates, and get ready to serve. All right, so it's been about five to 10 minutes, and it looks like our apple crisp is nice and warm, and it's ready to serve. So, let's cut into it. And every day I sit and watch the sky I sleep here in the sun and rain and do So here we have our perfect apple crisp. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys all try it out and yeah Assalamualaikum. And every day I sit and watch the sky